Hi, this video is intended to show you how you can configure Odoo to select among multiple bombs from a sales order. Um, in order to do that, you first need to activate a few things under the general settings. You go to manufacturing and you activate the manage routings. The routings will help you to define, for instance, uh, several manufacturing processes for a single finished product. Then you might want to activate the properties on bombs so that you can link your sales order to the appropriate bill of material. Another step is to go to the sales configuration and also activate the properties. You just make sure that product pr properties on sales order lines is ticked and you apply. Then you can go to manufacturing and you can create first the properties. Let's say we'll create one property when we want to produce um, a finished product internally. We can link it to the a new product group. Let's say manufacture manufacturing process. click create and edit, save. We can create a new one. Let's say this property will be used in case we want to outsource our production. Now we can create our two routings. The first one will be called internal production production process the second one will be used in case of uh, outsourcing just as uh, for a, a reminder you know do when you want to do outsourcing you need to add um, a location on the routing and if you browse to the location you can set uh, an owner Let's say the big system is the owner of this location. And save. Now we have our two routings. We have the two properties that will help us to link the sales order to the appropriate manufacturing order. What is left is to create the bill of materials and attach the routings and the properties. Let's go ahead. We'll create one bill of material when we want to produce it internally and attach it to the appropriate routing. Now you will see that there is uh, an added tab here in which we will simply type in the property we have just defined internally. We can put as many properties as we want, but in our case only one will be enough and we save. Now if we go to the second bill of materials, In the property tab, this one will be outsourced. I put here a reference. Sourced. I attach the appropriate routing, outsourced, and the appropriate property, outsourced. I save. At this time now, I can generate a sales order that will launch the appropriate manufacturing order according to the, s the property I will select. Now let's say I want to sell the finished product to Agrolet. I add a line. My product is called my finished product. Now I can say hi, how, here, how I want to produce this first product. It is configured as manufacturer and make to order. We can see it on the procurement tab, manufacturer and make to order. Now, I simply need to select the, the appropriate property here. Let's say for the first time, I want to produce it internally. I select the property internally. I save and close. I can confirm this sale order. Now, if I run the scheduler to make sure that 
manufacturing order is generated. And when I, I go to the manufacturing, I can see my finished product. Now you can see the selected routing is the one of internal uh, production. If I open it, I can see routing internal production. Now let's do the same. This time, let's say we want to select an outsourced production. Uh, to go quickly, I will simply duplicate this sales order and simply change the definition of the sales order line. Instead of producing it internally, I will select the outsource manufacturing process. I save. I confirm. I will launch the scheduler in order to generate the manufacturing order again. You can see there is a second manufacturing order, but this time with another routing. So this is it for selecting a different uh, manufacturing processes.